Hey everyone, Tyler Crumpton here. I just want to take a minute to show you how to pull .pretty repos directly from GitHub into your KiCad projects. This .pretty repo is just a place where you can put all these KiCad module footprints into a GitHub repo online, store them online, and every time that repo gets updated, they'll automatically get pulled into your projects. It's all stored elsewhere. You don't have to keep track of different versions on different computers. So you, if you're working on projects, bouncing between different computers is a good way to organize your PCB footprints for parts you've made and keep them all updated. So this crump prints.pretty is just a repo I've made. It has a bunch of footprints I use all the time. These KiCad mod files are all, all these different footprints. I have a readme that lists them all. But I'm going to start by taking the URL and copying it. Uh, you want the actual URL, not the .git URL that you would normally use to, to clone a repo. You want the GitHub URL of the project. So you take that, you go into KiCad. We're going to go into PCB new. It might ask you if you need to create a PCB file if you haven't already. We're going to go into preferences, library tables. Now there's two places you can store this. You can either put it in your global libraries or your project specific libraries. Global libraries is all your projects. Uh, project specific is just for this one project. The process is the same. Um, so we're just going to do project specific libraries for now. So you go to a pat, append library and we're going to paste our URL into the library path. So you see it there. And we're going to go ahead and give it a nickname. This is just what you want to show up when you're looking through your different libraries. So I'm just going to call it crump prints because that's what it's called there. And then you go over to plugin type and you want to change it to GitHub so that it knows that this is a URL to a GitHub project and it can go pull that down whenever it needs to. Then we hit OK and it should be good to go. Uh, one way to test this is to go add a footprint to this blank board and select by browser. And if you scroll down, you can select crump prints since we just added it and it actually will load this up from GitHub. So this is all pulled down from GitHub. If I make any changes and go back and look at this again, it'll have those new changes in there. So you can grab one of the, the footprints. This is APA 102. It's a little LED. And I can add it to the board and check it out. And that's all there is to it. So the process, like I said, is the same for the global libraries. Um, and if you have any problems, just uh, throw a comment. and. I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks.